Hey everyone, this is Galen at ACU Master USA, and today we'll be taking a look at our 7 bar pressure sensor. With each of our sensor kits, you're going to get the sensor that you ordered, the connector, seals, terminals, and thread sealant. And you'll also find on the front of each package the QR code that'll link you directly to any pertinent sensor information you might need. The first thing you'll notice on the back of this package is that the pinout for the sensors is actually the same. Pin 1 being your sensor ground, pin 2 the 5 volt supply to the sensor, and pin 3 is the sensor signal that goes to the analog input of your EMU. Next, the tools we're going to use for this are a pair of flush cuts, wire strippers, and a high quality crimp frame designed for the terminals you're working with. There's going to be a link in the description for all of these tools so you can use exactly the same stuff we're using. Let's start by taking our flush cuts and derailing the terminals from the metal strip that they're attached to. I'm going to take the flush side towards the terminal, snip, and repeat. Now we include an extra in all of these kits in case a, a mistake happens, and trust me, they happen. So hopefully we'll only need these three that I'm using right now. For the wire color, we use blue for our 5 volt reference. We're going to use white for sensor signal that goes to the analog input of the EMU. And then we're going to use black for sensor ground. So before we strip these wires, we're going to take the weather seals and put the wires through so that we don't have copper strands stabbing us in the fingers as we work later. This prevents fraying at the end of the copper. And also make sure that you do it before you terminate the wire into the terminal itself. It is a real pain in the neck to have to redo stuff after uh, you've already crimped the terminal onto the wire. Next, then we're going to grab our strip tool. And I want to show you guys the strip length here is set to the minimum value on the stripper uh, to allow for consistent exposed copper at the end of each of these wires. Let's take our crimp frame and load a terminal in and get it ready to crimp and deconductor into. You'll notice that this crimp frame has an automatic positioner here with a gate that's spring loaded. So as you insert the terminal, you push on the gate, opens the gate, closes on the terminal, and now it's positively located inside of the crimp frame so it can't rotate around or give you any funny business as you go to crimp this on. You're gonna slide the conductor all the way forward, leaving the copper exposed. We're gonna insert and then crimp slowly. There you go, successfully terminated a wire into this GT150. Let's take our package and look at the back side for our sensor pinout. So we'll start with position one, which is our sensor ground. That is this hole here. Insert the terminal in until it clicks. Nice positive location there. Next we'll go to pin assignment two, which is our five volt supply to the sensor. And again, and last but not least is our sensor output, or sensor signal that goes to the analog input of our EMU device. So now that you have these clipped in and they're locked, you're gonna take this gray tab and press it till it closes and now the tabs cannot come up. And that's how you wire the three position sensor. So now that we've wired our seven bar pressure sensor into our EMU Black, we're gonna go into our EMU Black client software and make sure that this is calibrated properly to work with your new sensor. We'll start by opening the configurations table and double check that the units displayed are in metric. Our sensors are sold as metric sensors so we're gonna go and do the calibration one-to-one -one with metric units displayed in the scale. Next, next go into sensor setup. We're gonna go into pressure and we're gonna go into the sensor wizard. And you'll see that we have a predefined sensor here for our seven bar fluid sensor. It shows fuel in the table, but you can assign this to any fluid uh, on your vehicle. 
Sensor Cal table will assign the scale for your sensor to the parameter you choose. So in this case, we're going to select a fuel pressure here. This will define the minimum voltage in the scale. And as it says on the back of the package, it's going to be 0.5 volt. Minimum pressure at that voltage is going to be zero. And next, you're going to see the maximum voltage of 4.5 volts and then the maximum pressure rating at that voltage. So this is already correct for a linear scale uh, from zero to seven bar. We're gonna hit okay. Now we're gonna go into our fuel pressure cal table because that's what we set that parameter for. And you'll see that you have a nice linear scale from zero to seven bar over 0.5 volt to 4.5 volts. Now that this is correct, we're going to make permanent to your, to your EMU black. And since we finished setting this up, we're going to go and verify that the sensor is working. So now that we've calibrated our software for our seven bar pressure sensor, we're going to make sure that we're connected to our EMU black device. Here you'll show the connection status is connected and it's highlighted in green over the box. We're going to move the calibration window out of the way and we'll open up our graph log and our analog inputs to show the voltage as we plug this in. So here we go. You'll see that the voltage at analog four increased as reflected here in the graph log. And you'll also see that the fuel pressure increased as well because that's, we, that's what we have this channel assigned to. Now that we've verified that your sensor is working, refer to your EMU first start checklist to continue setting up this device for your project. Thanks for watching.